check this out. Uh, 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 oh, so close. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I want a fish from the from the hill fort. From the hill fort. Uh, camp. Oh. Wait, did that... Did that do it? What happened? Where's my fishing line? That... That's a bit of a scam. What? That definitely hit the water. Definitely hit the water. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> well, that was a that was a fun little uh, experiment. But personally, I don't like fishing. So, uh, magnet, get get out of here, fishing rod. Anyway, uh, hello. We're in episode five today, and it's going to be a little bit of a special today. Our quest line is telling us to get to level twenty, and that is eight levels away. That's that's quite a few vaults. So. I want to, as I said last time, I, I just want to run quite a few vaults and do speedy montages. Hmm. Mm -mm. Oh, is it done? It's done. Nice. And I do have some goals. I would love to get more Benutite because my knowledge situation is looking really good. And we could potentially get to some more mod unlocks today. Actually, maybe I could even... Unlock something now. I would need need a little bit more Benyotite. Let's fortune our pickaxe back up. <laughs> I love the enchanter. It's great. Wait, I should know exactly how many I need actually. Uh, six. Six, I think. I think I need six Benyotite. Here we go. Is that six Benyotite? Oh, I think it is. Aha! I have the vault diamonds. I have this. That's a knowledge core and... That's a knowledge shard. A knowledge star. Mmm. <laughs> blue and tasty. And with that point, there are many good choices. But a vault compass would really help me navigate easily in the vaults. It's... Uh, I should be able to afford that. Can make some netherite. Yes, this is how you make netherite ingots. <laughs> the vanilla compass. And then I need four vault diamonds. Yes, I can totally make this. Hmm. Yeah, let's do compasses. Look at that. A rainbow colored vault compass that points at nothing in the overworld. But this thing, this thing points at the home portal or the exit of any vault. And it's great. It's, 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 it makes it navigation so much quicker and easier. Let's craft a crystal. Snowballs. That should be fine. There are a lot of uh, snowy places everywhere. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. And actually, I guess having a snowman machine in my starter base isn't a bad idea. Uh, start a camp. In my, in my starter camp. Sir? Nice. Now if you would just walk into that little, little hole there, everything would be great. Come on. Ah, perfect. And, yep, works like a charm. I shall name you Max. Max Snow. Some dye... Some iron and some sand. Great success! Ooh, you know what? I can totally afford this sword. And... Yeah, that could be a good purchase. Oh, it's Scrappy Plus. <laughs> it's Scrappy Plus, but... Let's see. It stayed Scrappy. Ooh, 12 damage though. It has max roll damage and extra soul shards. Yeah, I'm... I'm gonna say that I may swip. Sw swip? <laughs> Sw swipe. Swipe to the right to keep sword. I'm gonna swap to this sword. And we're gonna grab a bounty as well. Oh, right. We had this one. This one feels very good. Find 9x knowledge. Grab my pouchy friends. And I do have two unspent skill points, which I could spend in javelin, which would give my piercing more piercing. So double the piercing and less cooldown. Yeah, let's do that. Hopefully I haven't forgot anything, because this is vault number one. Oh my, what a start! Bonus ornate chests and lucky.
Spiders are very scary. To be fair, I could have put my chest plate on before going in, but I think I just cleared a dungeon. Uh, careful. I think I just cleared a dungeon and there is a there's a potion table in here, which, sir, sorry, <laughs> which is, I mean, there are also lots of ornate chests, but the potion table, let me just cover this up. The potion table will give me a permanent unlock modifier. Speed 2! That, that's like the best potion modifier there is. Uh, potion modifiers can be applied to, well, not the vial, but the next level potion. And speed 2 would mean that every time I drink a charge from my potion, I would get speed 2 for a short duration of time. And that's like incredible. I, I don't even have that modifier on the Vault Hunter SMP where I'm high level. That's... that's crazy lucky. That's very, very lucky. How did stuff burn? Oh well. Uh, great success! Very great success! Honestly, I can't even believe that I just unlocked that. I guess with that, it's time to... time to go home. I will say, very good <laughs> first vault. I'd say, I, without seeing the stats, I'd say this is a 9.2 vault. 15,000 experience, 159 chests, that's not bad at this level. That's, I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite proud of that. That's, uh, yeah, that's very good. But of course, the biggest thing being the fact that I can, I unlocked the speed 2, which honestly I can't even use yet. It's, it's very, very funny, but I can't even use it because I do need to research potions to uh, in order to get a vial or a potion big enough to fit the modifier. Now in terms of loot, I was looking specifically for Benutite and I found a bunch of other ones, unique ones, actually closing into having a pog here, and I found three Benutite ore. And the pile is more majestic! Ooh, I found a helmet and <gasps> that's a pretty good jewel. And that's the, the other two, the other two are whatever. I think I'm actually, I'm gonna have to start smelting down things that are not good. The 79 size is a bit too big. Picking is not very exciting. I'll smelt down this one as well. Because when you smelt them down, you get new resources so that you can craft more jewels down the line. So it's, it's good to recycle. Re recycling is good, not just gear, but also jewels. Bunch of stuff in Sir Pouch as well. One valuable thing for me right now is this magic silk, because magic silk is required to make more pouches, which I would like to do. And in here, oh wow. Yeah, very healthy amount of carbon. I, I keep mentioning carbon because I know that it's used in so many recipes, specifically early game. That's not a backpack, that's an egg. All in all, that was a, as I say, I think I stand by the nine put. Oh, we got a key piece as well. Oh, key pieces are super rare. Eight of these and I can make a treasure key to open a treasure room. And I know there's a quest for this somewhere. Yeah, over here. So uh, this is, this is really, really going to get a spot next to Fred in the sack. Now, how about the crate? Hmm. Common plus leggings and the rest is scrappy plus, but quite a bit of it. I don't think I got any omega rolls, but let's have a look. Hmm. Mine are better. And my, that's a very bad chest plate. But the shield? Nah, I, I prefer my flower. Not an egg. It's a flower. It's clearly a flower. How about the jewels? Another coin infinity, but now I already have that. Copiously, but too big size. Traps are too big size. I don't want it too big size. All of these are too big sizes, except that one. The picking for 23, I will keep. The rest, again, recycle. Ooh, and I also got an augment with the geode cave theme. These can be used to guarantee a theme on your crystal. And these, I, I, I'm going to just hold on to, to them. And whenever I have a bounty that requires a specific theme, I can apply them to the crystal. Speaking of a bounty, should claim this. And pop it. Thank you. That's 11 more knowledge. I have so much knowledge. It's absolutely crazy. One down, level 13. It's time 
for another one. Ooh, beetroot. Hello? Does anyone have some beetroot? That doesn't look like beetroot. That's potatoes. Oh. Ooh. Someone don't mind if I do so. Hello, beetroot. Why doesn't anyone grow beetroot? <laughs> my man, my man is just far big odd, as if I didn't exist. Beetroot. They don't even have a farm. They don't even have a farm, <laughs> sir. <laughs> I shall help you out if you can get me some beetroot. Show me the farms. Uh, beetroot? Nope. This is one weird farm stretching all the way from up there, all the way down and to here. But mm, no beetroot. I keep coming across these mega villages and I, I love them. They're great. The only problem is, is that <laughs> they all seem very lazy. No one seems to be farming anything they just they just well they've they've shipped in some wheat that they live off or or something there is not a single farm in these villages you sir are lazy you don't even have a job get out of bed i, I want to sleep it's not going great <laughs> it's not going great at all i have been searching for beetroot for so long now i've, I've even made a new friend tony both me and Tony agrees that it's so ironic that it's beetroot we need. That, like, the literal most useless item in Minecraft in general. Hmm. 200 blocks that way. Aha! Please have beetroot. Nope. They literally have everything but beetroot. Hello? Please save a desperate man in need of beetroot with your fancy Sky Island farm. Wow, this is this is great. Is there beetroot? Nope. Hello? Sir? You're growing pumpkins, I see. Hmm. I just looked at my recording software to get an idea of how long I've been looking for beetroot. And I have been recording this clip for 2 hours and 28 minutes. <laughs> Why? Where is the beetroot, man? It's cursed. I'll never look at beetroot the same. Please, I'm desperate. I've even had to turn on the jade mod so I can see what the seeds are. <laughs> There's no beetroot there. Nope. Oh, yes. Wait, <laughs> I've done it. I've, I can't believe it. Look at this map. Look at all the places I've been. <laughs> This was a uh, make make a vault montage progression episode. He says uh, spends spends oh, nearly three hours looking for beetroot. <laughs> now I wonder, can I just farm this? And yes, Whew, okay, unbelievable. I'm gonna grab all of these. I love how they are taunting you and look like question marks. But like, hmm, is it me you're looking for? Stupid beetroot. Thank you, sir. You have saved my day. And now I'm going to turn this mod off again. You can access this with numpad zero, by the way. I know a lot of people like to have that mod on. It's in the pack. I just don't like to have it on because I think it blocks the screen and is weird. Time to complete that crystal. First things first, though. I guess I should dedicate a tiny little spot with the difficult question marks. They don't even like to grow quickly with bone meal. I, Beatrice, I'll never look at you the same. Even the vegetable or fruit looks smug. Look at it, <laughs> taunting me. Anyway, that, that, and that. Perfect, <laughs> thank goodness. I do have one unspent skill point and I think, I'm really into the javelins, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna put one in damage so that the javelins do more damage. Now this vault is gonna be all about Beniotite. Oh, actually, <laughs> Bounty. None of these are great, but the mine six root that I gives me some black opal, which will be useful and the experience. I'll take that one since I'm gonna mine. I'm, I'm actually gonna try and skip rooms and just go for the ore heavy stuff. Another elixir and another b bonus ornate. And a uh, first room that is an x mark room. Okay, well, uh, I, I said I was gonna go for the ores, but I do have to try and dig this one out. Just hope that it's not trapped because I think it's gonna be quite difficult. Oh, it is trapped. It is trapped. Eep. No! Get me out of here! Oh no. God dang it! <laughs> I needed to build one more block up! Ah, oh, it's the first time I die 
in this world. And the first time I die to a X mark room, I think. Well, uh, luckily we had beginner's grace, so I didn't lose any items. But that was that was pretty terrible. <laughs> I should have thrown more javelins. And that's the curse of the beetroot. And I suppose wearing an elytra didn't help. Yeah, the <laughs> risks I have to live with. Stupid beetroot crystal. <laughs> Cactus and rabbit hide. <laughs> oh no. I don't think I've even seen a single desert. Desert. 4,000 blocks. Ah. Oh. <laughs> the curse of the beetroot. Aha. Thank you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yep. <laughs> of course, this village has beetroots. Of course. Of course you do, sir. Hmm. Aha. Wait. I, I just had an idea. Aha, stone cutter for my vault stone and turn into a polished one. And then I should be able to do this. Yes, an animal jar. Uh, I'll, I'll leave this stuff here for the next person. Okay, now let's see if I can find some, some rabbits to bring home right after I get some sleep. Hello? How do I get you in the jar? Yes, shift right click. Aha! Yes. Hmm. All right, time to go back home. And animal pen. Hmm. Yes. Aha. <laughs> You're part of the monster now, rabbit. And brilliant. That's ten rabbits. I should be able to... So, sorry. Should be able to do that. And... Nice. And the seven cactus, which I also definitely need to plant. Yep, beautiful. Oh, and I also found these pots in the desert, and they are <laughs> very, very nice. Oh, you can accidentally put things in them. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Toad is a secret hideaway. Last and least, copper and gravel makes crystal number three. It's not been going great so far today. But hey, at least I've got a lot of the base materials now. Like, like I have a cactus, I have a rabbit, and a, a hello, Bill. And most importantly, hopefully I do better this time around. I mean, I can't possibly do much worse than that last vault. <laughs> Wait, shield? I need my shield. Right, here we go again. Ooh, this is a new theme that I haven't had yet in this uh, in this world, and I absolutely love this. This is a, one of the pirate themes. I'm a big, big fan of pirate. There is voice. Hello, sirs. One thing to note about the pirate mobs in Vault Hunters is that they have slightly higher damage than than your average zombie, but uh, magnet. Well, thank you. Uh, but on the contrary, they also have a little bit less health, generally. Most importantly, though, they look... Oh, these, these are drowned. <laughs> hello, hello, drowned. Most importantly, they look amazing. And there are crabs. Crabs are in this vault as well. You only need to kill them halfway, though, because when they lose their house, they're, they're, they're like, sorry. <laughs> I shall let you go. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm not supposed to loot everything in this vault. I want to focus fully on ore rooms, which is fittingly... It's fitting that I have a monolith objective, because then moving around and finding more rooms is going to give me a better chance of finding monoliths. Oh, wait a minute. Even though it's very fittingly into this theme, this is an Omega Room! This is the cove! The coin Omega Room, and Omega Rooms in Vault Hunters does not have any threat, nor and mobs or anything. Just a ton of loot, in this in this case, coin piles. I can't believe I found this! And it fits, it blends in so well to this theme as well. This is crazy! I shall take a skull for decoration at home, and also one of these, can or two of these cannibals. Oh, and maybe this wheel thing from Create as well. I don't know what it's used for, but I'll bring it with me, it looks cool. I think I got most of it, but I gotta say, I absolutely love this room. It looks so good. Look, there's a 
It's a hammock. <laughs> Sleeping hammock. Just chilling. It's a great, great room. That was a very lucky find. Ouch. <laughs> Gotta stop doing that. Aha. Took me a while to find, but this, this is an ore room and their PYs, as you can see, are mostly dedicated to big ore excavations. Well, they don't necessarily need to be big. I think I got quite lucky here because I got two of these quite large ones. Oh, that's more Benitite. <gasps> Xenium. Now my bounty said six foot that I've already got four in this one room. Aha! I got the bounty completed. That was a very good room. I don't know how many Benitite I've got, but quite a few. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is the vault that just keeps giving. Um, oh, actually, <laughs> my pickaxe is almost dead. I didn't realize that anyway. Yeah, I don't have I don't have any space for any more bronze. I'm just gonna skip. We're gonna skip. It is a bit of a pro <laughs> What is this? This is another mega room! This vault, man! This room is a dig site. It's all about wooden chests that are hidden down below in clusters. But, as I say, my, my inventory is completely full and my pickaxe almost completely dead. So I think I'm gonna have to skip this room as well. But it, it looks so very cool though. And those of you who are Hermitcraft fans, remember season 5 of, of Hermitcraft, my, my Plastic Fantastic base. This was kind of a room that I asked the, the builders of the team to build in a Plastic Fantastic sort of vibe. <laughs> I think they did great. It's it's awesome. Oh, I think I found another ore room. Yeah, this is another ore room. But my pickaxe is dead though. Hold on. I'm gonna use my chromatic pickaxe instead. Try and get a little bit more. That's another Benetite. I am very far from home though, very far from the portal. So I'm gonna have to be very quick here. I'm cutting this very close right now. <laughs> very, very greedy. But as we know, greed is good. Uh, okay, honestly though, I'm going to have to try and make it out. I don't even know if I can. I have to fly perfect. Wait a minute. This is... Uh... Okay, I think that's a. I think that's another <laughs> dragon room. I don't think that's the same one that I just found a minute ago. That's... This vault is crazy, man. Very fitting with this pirate theme. Alright, I think I'm going to go this way a little bit. When you don't crash. Oh, that's not home. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> uh oh. See the crab from the first room? Hold on. Maybe we're fine. Yeah, this should be home. That should be. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't loot many chests in this vault, but I mean, the, the, the pirate cove for the pirate theme and two dragon rooms and an dig site is pretty crazy. Let's see how we did. 13,000 experience, 33 chests, but I did loot 72 ores and collected 420 coin piles. I think that was pretty good. I collected 22 gold and five silver. Well, that that doesn't sound <laughs> doesn't sound a lot, but I mean that's gonna last us for a while, re-rolling gear and doing all the other things. Yep, I'm happy with that. Now, how about that Benutite? Twelve, oh, twelve fresh Benutite. That feels really really strong, actually. <laughs> and forty-one there more. I feel like I need to monsterify the pile a little, a little bit. I also got the six Vutri, Alexandrite, Painite, and Black Opal, and the Ashium. Nice. Bounty. And let's pop some crates. I see a shield. I see some jewels. A helmet. Oh, I almost forgot. I also got these, these very cool cannonballs. Ah, important. I don't know where the skull that I picked. Oh, here's the skull. Ah, <laughs> that fits perfectly on there. Ooh, that's a pretty good jewel, actually. 22 sides with coin infinity. Oh! <laughs> that's even better. 13 size minus three. That's great as well. Pulverizing. Living. I still don't have living on anything. There's another living. Not as good. Oh, and we got the augment for the 
Haunted, apparently, is the name of that theme. It's it's absolutely beautiful. All right, well, that was like four new jewels that was worth keeping. Let's see if, uh, see if we get any good gear. Ooh, the coconut shield. That's a rare shield. Ah, co coconut? Hmm? I do like this. <laughs> I do like this model a lot. Hold on, let me have a look here. Mine has higher block chance. Mine has the extra health. Uh, but this one heals me when hit if I proc a healing cloud. I think I'll I'll stay with the flower and uh, but but definitely save the other one. The trousers are worse than mine and the chest plate is not great either. Okay, recycle. All in all, I'm very happy with the results of that vault. I mean, we got a new friend and we got the flywheel. <laughs> no, not like that. No, not like that. Oh, hold on. Aha! <laughs> yes. Added to the Fort Hill camp. <laughs> it looks like a sombrero upside down. <laughs> I don't know what it does, but it's beautiful. It is my most beautiful possession. Ooh. Lemons are always worth buying and saving away for future. <laughs> that is starting to become one healthy amount of Beniotite. Beniotite means knowledge, but I'm not gonna break it down just yet because I want more. So let's see if my my cursed crystal crafting day continues. Uh, is that terracotta? I think I have some terracotta actually that I picked up by accident. I have one, one piece of terracotta. I have found places with terracotta, but maybe I'll just uh, maybe I'll just smelt down some clay. And as far as the chicken goes, I have none. I suppose I might just as well then get Mr. Rabbit a friend. And I gotta say, flying around holding tab on the minimap is actually very useful for finding animals. There's my... Are you standing in the grass? There we go. Welcome home, chicken. It's so much bigger than its rabbit's friend. Here you go, sir. Grow further. I really love the animal pen addition that we did to Vault Hunters. It makes everything so much easier and more fun. Anyway, I needed uh, four. Sorry, I, I'm using looting, so I'm going to get... Okay, I only need to do that once, sir. Terracotta, carrots, and a little bit of redstone to top it up. Brilliant. That was a much nicer crystal. By the way... Check this out. You can scoop eggs out of the chicken in an animal pen. <laughs> and eggs are also required in some vaulters, so this <laughs> is kind of fun. Anyway, time to vault. Actually, I, I should I should take a skill point. And I think after after what happened in the X Mark room, it may be beneficial to go another point in heal just to get a little bit more of a combat heal. That would heal me for two full hearts. Hmm. Yeah. Sure. Let's do it. Let's do a point in heal. Oh, and, and bounty. <laughs> Every single time. Every, oh, mine. One Xenium. One Xenium for all of this experience. Well, Xenium could be difficult to get. You know what I might do? I'm going to focus on Beniotite again. Let's uh, let's re-roll. Oh, oh, that's 43 emeralds. But that requires me to have a monolith one, which I may not necessarily get. Skeletons, same thing there, although the rewards are pretty good. Gather elixir. Um, aha! Here's a, here's a good one. Submit 36 vault apples to the bounty table and I get five gold? Five pieces of gold. Hold on. Do I have do I have 36? Hopefully I do. Vault apples. Oh yeah. Oh, I have lots of these. Aha. Well, that was uh, that was free. I shall open it later. I guess I reroll the 10 10 pay night. Find 30 knowledge essence and Oh, I get some vault diamonds from that. That may actually be worth it. I do need vault diamonds. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Oh, I just realized next level is another level in expertise. Exciting. Oh, and it's an elixir. I like elixir the best. My focus in this vault is once again going to be mostly around ores, but also gilded chests. Because I do realize... Ah! <laughs> okay, okay, we're good. We're good. I do realize... That uh, I'm not gonna like my, my ball neck. If I get too much penetite, it's gonna be vault diamonds, and those are found. Well, they're actually found in wooden chests as well. I may just I may just do a little bit of everything. Oh my! Two bounty pearls. What? Oh, coin piles give a lot of elixir. Oh my! Look at look at the bar. It's just like one one big py and <laughs> completely done. Look at this. <laughs> 
Wait, am I actually gonna finish it here? Please say that there's like one. Oh, there's there's a couple more here. That would be hilarious. They are. This is the jackpot when you get when you get these big orbs. Yep, <laughs> I feel like that's the fastest ever completing an elixir for me. <laughs> and that's uh, that's brilliant. Now, of course, I do need a lodestone as well, which I'm not gonna activate if I find right off the bat. Of course, that would just be wasting the crystal. Any Beniotite? Oh, there's the Senium! I could have taken that one! Ah. Uh, well, I mean, to be fair, they can also be very tricky to find. So I was just very lucky. It's just, it's just one of these days where everything is kind of weird. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, Creeper. Gotta be careful when in a desert team, because Creepers have a tendency to not just blow up me, but also the loot. And the main thing I want from Gilded Chest is the diamonds, wall diamonds. That's the best way to find them. As I said earlier, you can also find them in the wooden chests, but they're more common occurring in the Gilded Chests. Hello, friend. I have been good. Oh, not good enough for a favor. Aha! Got the bounty completed. Great success. Oh, look what I got! A gilded chest scroll! So I can craft myself a gilded chest. Nice! Ooh, that's Gorgonite, which I don't think I found yet. It's another very important step towards my first pog. And the scallium. Have I found the scallium? This is great. My pickaxe, however, is almost completely dead again. Oh, because I should say that mending it works in the overworld with these tools, with the vanilla tools, but they, it doesn't work inside the vaults. The, Thanos? Nope. <laughs> no favor. Oh, this is another ore room with a g giant ore mine. S skeleton, stop. I'm here to... I'm, ah, I'm here to... <laughs> I'm here to mine! Hmm, Villara, my beloved? Nope, no favor. Oh dear, only two minutes remaining. Uh, but I, I gotta find, I gotta find a lodestone. Oh no, what is this? Oh no, not now. This, 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 this is why we, but this is why we have lemons. But I, I didn't bring them with me. This is uh, the Omega Library. It's a beautiful room. It's an absolute. Look at it. Look at it. It's massive, and it's like filled, packed with gilded chests. But I have no time, and I don't know where there's a lodestone. Oh, I wish I brought those lemons. This is silly. <laughs> this is so silly. That That's silly. <laughs> that's very silly. They are, they are just hanging in the air, being, being very cool bookshelves, if I do say so myself. Oh no. I mean, I'm happy to have found this, but <laughs> it's very sad that I know just how many gilded chests I'm not going to be able to grab. Okay, one minute. I, I really, I really gotta go. I can't do this. <laughs> I really can't do this. Do I, I have three kiwis. That's 30 seconds extra if I eat them. Any lodestone, any lodestone. Nope. Ooh, but some more nade chests. This is, uh, this is bad. This is really bad. This is not healthy. <laughs> not at all. Let me put my kiwis on my bar. And every time you eat one of these, you lose a bit of max health. But as I say, they do give you extra time. Lemons give you 30 seconds. These kiwis only 10 seconds. If I don't misremember, I think I saw a lodestone early on. And hopefully it's early on, because this should be early on, this room here. And I did mark it. <laughs> oh, oh yes. I think this may be it, actually. Uh, yes! Oh! <laughs> that was that was lucky. I, it may have been, it may have had been another room, and then I would have been a little bit screwed. Anyway, that was a. I'll bring the cactus. That was a good vault. That was a very good vault. <laughs> Completing the elixir in the first room. Fifteen thousand experience, seventy-one chests. But as I say, I did focus on ores. I mined ninety-two. Hello there, friend. <laughs> My inventory is also completely packed with stuff. Oh, and we got the Gilded Chest Scroll. And of course, that is the most important thing to do, is to craft up my Gilded Chest and add it to the Chest Monster. Um, hmm. Oh, but that's a little bit blocking my new... Ah, it's fine. It's fine. It's poking through the back. And then what I can do 
is put one of these here and this chest there. Yes, <laughs> this is, this is, this is. Some people may say that this is getting out of hands. I say this is getting in hands. It's very nice. Let's pick up that crate. <laughs> now, I wonder, I got a lot of these unique ores in there. The Apalene, the Gorgonite, I got Sparkle Teen, Tabium from my friend Tabo. I got Ashium, my beautiful Escalium, and Bombignite, I think, the red and blue. Okay, so I, 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 do I have a Bombignite? I may have a Bombignite hiding in the pile. I feel like, I feel like I placed one down. That's why these type of piles aren't always the best. Oh, do I really not have one? Looks like, uh, looks like I don't. Okay, well, uh, I am definitely very close in being able to get a pog. Which, I mean, to be honest, I don't really need a pog right now at this moment in time. It's just a fun little side project. 15 Benny Titan over, over a stack of Larimar? Wow, that means I have a total of 27 Benutite ore. And I did get another expertise point since I hit level 15. It feels very tempting to go another level in Fortunate right now. I will say though, I think that this, this expertise is really good in the beginning, but it, it, it loses value later down the line. And yeah, regretting expertise is not easy. So, ah, let's do it. <laughs> let's, let's become super fortunate. That means that every time I fortune pick something, I now have fortune plus two. So fortune five with a fortune three pick. Did I get anything else good here? I mean, I focus mainly on ores. I got some gemstones. These jewels are both pretty bad. I may keep the shuffling though. Then I actually got a bunch of bronze and silver as well. Enough to make 13 more pieces of gold. I'm getting rich. Oh, eight mystery boxes. This could also give us a pog or an echo gem if we're lucky. Did we get lucky? No, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, and I need to claim this. That's another, that's a pair of, pair of leggings in there. Oh, and I found a magnet inside as well. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let's put our pouches down and pop our crates. It feels really fun to pop the crates, I don't know why. Mystery box, some more emeralds, I got some relics as well. Nope, no relics, just boost back. Oh, that's a hammering jewel! Wait, that's 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 the rarest jewel you can find that can extend a hammer. Whew, okay, that's a fantastic find. That's, that's just incredible, absolutely incredible. Oh, 31 wooden is pretty good as well. And the rest, I guess we recycle. Six vault diamonds from the bounty and the crate combined. And then I found four inside. So I have 39 now. That feels really good. Let's uh, check out the gear. Fear cloud. It's pretty good. It scares away mobs. But yeah, I, I don't like using axes. Not the magnet. Why is it comparing itself to my leggings? What? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> it's just comparing itself to random stuff. There we go. More range as the base roll, but then again, I have extra range rolled on it, so... Mm, no, probably not worth it. What about... Oh! Oh, seven armor! That means I've hit... Yeah, I've hit a new armor tier. My old one could only roll three to five, now it can roll six to seven. But... I still like my epic helmet. That's good to know, though. And then some mana region and increased damage. This, this helmet is really good, actually. But as I say, I think I prefer my, my crown. But the leggings... Oh, the leggings! I'm gonna lose some health and lose some looting, but I would get a lot more safe. Nah, 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 I, I whatever. <laughs> I, I don't mind, I don't mind risking it. My skill point that I got for leveling up, I think I'm gonna invest into Ethedral. Gives you a chance to make your javelin Ethedral, charging no mana for the throw. I noticed that I use it a lot and it actually does burn my mana at the moment. So yeah, I think it's time to level this up a little bit. That's gonna make the total javelin cost be uh, uh, significantly less. Now what I wanna do is break down the Beniotite. Because I want to see how many knowledge stars we can make. Oh, uh, <laughs> oops, that's a little bit embarrassing <laughs> because we gotta see the magic table first. There we go. Right, here we go again. Please be lots and lots and lots of Benita. It looks, it looks very rich. It looks very, very rich. That is 68 Benutite. Which translates into four extraordinary Benetite, which means that I can make four, as long as I have the other stuff. Yep, four knowledge stars. Wow, that's enough to unlock refined storage. Although I would need to power it, so I would need to go one in iron generators as well to get some power for it. But that would indeed be very helpful, considering my, my current uh, <laughs> storage situation. I could also take another level in looting with double pouches and with one point to spare go into something like drawers. I think that may be 
Yeah, that may be very smart as well. Simple Storage Network, I did unlock in the pre-alpha preview. It's 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 a very it's a very satisfying way to do storage. However, since I did that last time, I may not want to do that again. I could also go colossal chest to make a giant chest, which would be quite funny. And that could also pair well with refined storage in the future. So I could go colossal chest and double pouches, or drawers and double pouches, or refined storage, and then just get one more knowledge point and go iron generators. Hmm. You know what we haven't done in this season yet? A cliffhanger. And I like cliffhangers. <laughs> I think I want to see what you guys say in the comment field. What would you like us to unlock next? And we're not going to unlock create next, okay? We, we, we're not going create yet. So with that, we, we didn't get to level 20 today, but we fought off the beetroot curse and died. And you know what? I think we made more progression, Vault Hunter's progression, in these five episodes than I made in the entire pre-alpha playthrough. And I'm loving it. I'm having such a great time. And I can't wait to continue to play and to continue to progress. It's it's a lot of fun. But anyway, that's going to do it for today. So if you did enjoy today's episode, please do hit the... Hold on. Item submission. 57 diamonds for... Oh, I'll do this a little cheeky. There you go. Thank you. 20 Lermar, 11 silver, and some common boots. Stayed common, squire boots. Oh, look at the armor. Although my, mine has good armor too. But I guess they could get a little cheeky respin. Oh, that's, that's nine armor. Can I get a health roll? Yes, two health. And do you have an empty suffix? Knockback resistance. Actually, I don't, I don't mind that at all. I think knockback resistance is... Very, very strong early game. To be fair though, <laughs> they're not actually that much better. They have the same amount of armor and instead of item quantity, they have item rarity and then they have some knockback resistance. Item quantity is, is nice though. It gives me more items, but I guess item rarity gives me better items. I'll think about it. I may, I may change boots. Anyway, as I was saying, that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do hit the like button down below. And if you're brand new, because you're subscribing. And I will see you in the next episode. Oh, I do have Bomb Ignite. Pag?